Are you a veteran for peace? I'm a veteran for peace and I'm a veteran. World War, World War II. Combat infantry in Europe, World War II. And, uh, I'm certainly a veteran for peace. Uh, what, what motivated you to, uh, to get active in the peace movement? Well, it took me a lot of years to get it through my head, but I finally realized that war is hell. War is blasphemy. War is uh, dead, wounded, maimed, homeless, psychotic, armless, legless, blinded people all over the world. Uh, it's, it's destruction. It never solved anything. No war ever solved anything. It's so the World War I sowed the seeds of World War II. World War II sowed the seeds of a half a dozen wars since, and so forth. Uh, war is futile. It's, it's absolute futility. I really wonder why the human race is so slow to understand that they're conned into war over and over again by politicians and statesmen. And, uh, uh, they've been doing it since the dawn of time. And they can uh, attract young men with nice marine dress blues and all a fruit salad, we call this fruit salad, with a certain amount of scorn because they give these things to everybody. You're not, I'm not a war hero. Uh, this is part of the regalia that attracts young men to military service. It's part of the mystique, along with the John Wayne movies and the flag waving and the bands and the cross sabers and all the hoopla. And uh, I'm really amazed that uh, the public will take the bait every time, generation after generation. World War I was a horror show. And yet, we're so punitive of Germany after World War I that it almost guaranteed the rise of a Hitler. It almost guaranteed uh, a World War II. And uh, you think of the partition of various countries that took place after World War II, especially in Southeast Asia, but other places, uh, it was guaranteed to make some more wars. And we're gonna, we, we got a nice civil war brewing in uh, Iraq when the, when the Shiites and the Sunnis get through with, with each other and the Kurds get in on it, we're going to leave one hell of a mess over there. That, that was a war based on a lie. Saddam Hussein and Iraq had nothing to do with the bombing of the World Trade Center. That was a lie. There were no weapons of mass destruction. That was a lie. None, uh, not Iraq, not any of the countries we've bombed We've bombed 22 countries since the end of World War II. This is a fact, 22 countries. And not a single one of them was a threat to the survival of the United States. Not a single one of them was our enemy. We've, we've preempted and attacked people who were not our enemies. We've done it over and over again. We've killed millions of civilians in all these countries. Uh, every president had to have his little war or his big war. George Bush had a war in uh, Panama, George Bush Sr. That was an atrocity. We killed. We killed 4,000 Panamanian civilians. We, we torched a burrito of poor people's housing in Panama City. For what? To catch one thug named Noriega. Well, hey, brother, man, uh, thanks, uh, thanks a lot for the contribution to our TV show. <laughs> OK. You know, and, and I found out a lot of vets are against this war. Uh, oh, yeah. I guess that's what happens when you see war. Oh, yeah. Well, the trouble with a lot of people who support war is it's an abstraction. It's a movie. It's not real. They haven't seen the horror. They haven't seen the horror. If they had, it would be different. Only 7% of the military ever gets into combat. 93% of the military uh, support troops of various, various functions. I was in the infantry. I was in that 7% that did see the war. And uh, that's why I got this thing. But I I'm, I'm, was not a hero. I didn't turn and run. They give you these if you don't turn and run away. <laughs> well, 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 brother, you're my hero because you're standing up for humanity. Yeah. You know? okay. Well, hey, thanks a lot for, uh, for your time, yeah. sir. Yeah.